Hello, my dear students. How are you? Okay, today we will discuss uh, the chapter, a fresh chapter, a new chapter, differentiation of exponential and logarithmic function. Uh, and it is an easy chapter, and we can finish this chapter in this single video. So concentrate to the class and watch the video carefully. Okay, uh, here first we have to know what is an exponential function and what is a logarithmic function. And you learned uh, these two functions in your first year class. Uh, though you have learned about this in the first year, I will try to remind you the topic. So here the first thing is what is an exponential function and you see here the exponential function is defined like this. Okay, so see what is an exponential function. So you see this is the definition of an exponential function and very simple the function y is equal to fx uh, equal to a to the power x. What is the number a? a is a constant number which is a positive number greater than 0 number but it should not be 1 because if a is 1 then 1 to the power x and 1 to the power x is obviously 1 and in that case the function converted to a constant function. So a should not be equal to 1. This function is called an exponential function. Very simple. You know that graph of the exponential function in the first year class. So here we will just discuss the differentiation of exponential function. So need not to draw the graph also here. So here you see the domain of exponential function. You see for what values of x this function is defined. The function is defined for all values of x. Hmm? For all values of x. So domain is the set of all real numbers. That is why we have written here the domain of the function is the set of all real numbers all real numbers here hmm. and the range what is the range range is the image set of the images and image you see whatever be the value of x here whatever be the value of x here the image that is the value of y will always be a positive number you see here hmm. always be a positive number and that is why you have to write here uh, and the range of the function is the set of positive real numbers okay so again there are two two kinds of special exponential function and one of the special uh, exponential function is known as common exponential function and other is known as national exponential function whenever the base a is 10 base a is 10 then it is called common exponential function and whenever the base a is the exponential number e you know this number this number is known as exponential number so if the base of a uh, of an exponential function is e then it is called a natural exponential function so that means uh, y is equal to e to the power x this is called a natural exponential function okay so again you see uh, the inverse actually inverse function we will discuss in your uh, function sector that the inverse of an exponential function is called the logarithmic function and that is defined like this y is equal to fx is equal to log of x this is the base this is the base a here this base is a positive number and not one but uh, this base may be 10 then it is called natural logarithm and if this base is equal to the exponential number e then it is called a natural logarithm so this is the this is general definition of logarithm so is known as logarithmic function and the domain what will be the domain the domain of logarithmic function is the range of exponential function so what was the range of exponential function you see here the positive real numbers therefore the domain of logarithmic function will be positive real numbers we have written here and the range is the range will be equal to the domain of exponential function and the domain of exponential function was the set of all real numbers and that is why we have written here that the range of the function is the set of all real numbers so you got it actually uh, i already told you that the exponential exponential function and the logarithmic function they are inverse of each other hmm? inverse of log is exponential and inverse of exponential is log so these two terms we will discuss in our function sector in details. So here you just know what is exponential function and what is logarithmic function. So we have written here. So this is actually not necessary to copy in your book, but you may copy also. 
Okay, so then uh, we have some properties of logarithmic function. So what are the properties? You know that. You see the properties here. So these are the basic properties of logarithmic function. Log of m, whatever be the base, that is not matter, but these two bases must be same. So log of m plus log of n is equal to log of mn. This is product. And if you expand this logarithm, it will be uh, connected by a plus sign. Then similarly, if it is in divide form, then you can write in uh, subtraction. And if m to the power n is here, then this n will come in front of the logarithm. This is one of the uh, important property of logarithm. And this is another important change of base. This is change of base. So if this base is to be changed to other base, hmm, then you can write like this log of m to the base, the new base, whatever you want, you have to write here. So log of m to the base, uh, the expected base, we have written here b, so b, and then log of a, this a, to the base, the new base b. Uh, whatever the base you need, hmm, then you can write like this. The new base will be here, and this m and a will be like this. Okay, so then you see the number 5 property, a to the power log of m to the base a. That means this base, exponent base, and logarithmic base. If these two bases are equal, same, then this logarithm can be eliminated. It will be only m. Okay, so these are the basic properties and important properties of logarithm. Hmm. You have to know these properties to solve the problems. Now you see, we have some formulae uh, of differentiation uh, to find the derivative of exponential function and to find the derivative of logarithmic function. But here, actually uh, the formula for the logarithmic function is only for the base E, not the other base. Hmm. It is only for the base E. So you see here, the number one formula is, number one, it is y is equal to, say you may also write fx, y is equal to fx, is equal to uh, say it is log of x to the base e you may also eliminate this e hmm? e to jodi tumi nilikha just log x it will be considered as e tete hetu e hisabe consider kora jabo as well in your physics and in uh, chemistry uh, the logarithm they are all of them are natural logarithm then it is written like this y is equal to simply ln of x ln of x mean it is logarithm with natural base natural base mean base is e in mathematics um, Africa, we actually uh, do not write this e hmm? mathematics mathematics of a e to ami generally niliku but we should consider the base as e takami e hisabe consider kori lobo lagibo in most of the problems there may be e base written in the problem to kisu manot tomar hei e to likha thakibo pare likha thakile to kono kothai nai but if it is not written uh, here, then you should consider at uh, as e here. Okay, so ln x likhile to kono kothai nai. Tita hala to e to nijen je bujilo ba. Okay, so this is your function. Then the derivative of this function, dy dx, is equal to f dash x is equal to the result is one by x. You know this one, but I will prove this. Hmm. Why to prove kuri dekhai dekhi sotmalo ba? How the differentiation of uh, log x is equal to one by x. So, our theorem is the first theorem, that is, we know, we know, first principle of derivative is equal dy dx is equal to f dash x is equal to what? limit, it is h tends to 0, then what is this? It is f of x plus h minus fx divided by h, is that it? Okay, so then you just replace this is equal to limit of h tends to 0 what is f of x plus h you see your fx is equal to log x base e so you are to write log of x plus h you may write the base here e minus simply log of x base e divided by h this one so then you see this is equal to limit of h tends to 0, combine these two logarithms and it is simply log of x plus h divided by h, sorry not h, x 
divided by x divided by x and whole terms base is e divided by h then you see it can be modified like this limit of h tends to 0 it is actually log of 1 plus h by x is not it and whole terms by base is e you may write here whole terms by since this is h by x you are to write here h by x and what is the extra term here the extra term is 1 by x the extra term is 1 by x you see okay now you see the next line i write here okay so that is equal to the value of this limit is 1 you know that one in the first year class this limit is equal to 1 so that is equal to 1 into 1 by x and so the value is 1 by x so this is our formula say so if so therefore you can write in a single line therefore y is equal to if you have log x basis e then it will imply dy dx is equal to simply 1 by x hmm? you should keep in mind when the base of the logarithm is e in that case only dy dx is equal to 1 by x otherwise it is not 1 by x that means if e is one number then it is 1 by x if it is e then it is only 1 by x so the two on no keep a base like say 10 as a 5 as a 3 as a other base to the asset then you cannot differentiate like this the tell it to me base to change corporate by using by using this property a two property use could apply a two property use could apply to me best to have a chance could be able to best to sense could be able to have a differentiation could be able to okay okay to see the second one okay this is your second number two y is equal to fx is equal to a to the power x and in that case the derivative is i write here dy dx is equal to you may write it is f dash x and that is equal to the result is a power x into log of a to the base e this a e may be eliminated so how to find the derivative we know again you write we know what was the first principle we know dy dx is equal to limit of h tends to 0 it will be f of x plus h minus fx divided by h this was the first principle and so that is equal to limit of h tends to 0 what is f of x plus h you see your fx is a to the power x therefore it will be a to the power x plus h minus a to the power x only divided by h okay so that is equal to limit of h tends to 0 you see a to the power x can be taken common here so what will be the term remaining here it is a to the power h minus 1 whole terms by h and very simple a to the power x this is constant constant uh, reference to the limit limit hape k e constant because there is no h therefore a to the power x remaining same into what is the limit of this part a part to limit to i mean this is log of a base e log of a base e e to eliminate code is so that is the result so therefore you, work, you can write like here therefore y is equal to a to the power x implies dy dx is equal to a to the power x into log of a so this is your formula for finding the derivative of exponential function then one special thing and that is you see here number three y is equal to if you have uh, only e to the power x that is the special exponential function natural exponential function e to, e to the power x then then the derivative dy dx or you may write f dash x this derivative is equal to what the derivative is equal to the function itself e to the power x only so prove it so we know same thing we know dy dx 
is equal to what is this? It is limit of h tends to 0. Then f of x plus h minus fx whole terms by h. And so that is equal to limit h tends to 0. What is fx plus h? fx plus h is e to the power x plus h. Simply minus it is e to the power x divided by h. As, uh, as done earlier, e to the power x can be taken common and can also be taken outside the limit. So, e to the power x into limit of h tends to 0. What is this? It will be e to the power h minus 1 divided by h. And this value, e to the power x, actually you can directly write 1 here. Hmm? It is 1. So, actually this limit is log of e basis e and this is equal to 1 and that is why you can directly write 1 here so ultimately we got it is e to the power x so therefore what is the conclusion so therefore y is equal to e to the power x and in that case dy dx is equal to the function itself e to the power x so that is your formula and these three formulae you need to uh, solve the problems of this chapter so tinitai formula as the first one key log x differentiation result given 1 by x second result e to the power a to the power x a is any number other than 1 1 or bahira zikuno number ho pare in that case derivative given a to the power x itself into log of a and finally jodi e to e to the power x hoy the result is only e to the power x so now we uh, go to the problem section of the chapter so, go to get more problems in Saba. Sincerely, very easy. More ketaman for the land. Back in the Malaga Nizego Bariba. See the questions. So, we begin with a very simple question y is equal to sine of log x. Very easy question. So, directly you can write therefore dy dx is equal to here the primary function is sine. So, differentiation of sine is cos log x remains same. And then by the chain rule derivative of log x and already we know the derivative of log x uh, the base is not written here you should consider as e so derivative of log x is simply 1 by x and this is this is the answer very simple hmm. if like example now have just more to more concept to clear for a kind of question hmm. in the similar way if you take the second question y is equal to it is cos inverse of e to the power minus x e to the power minus x so what is this implies you can directly write dy dx is equal to what is the derivative of cos inverse you do not see here it is a one to primary function to sub so cos inverse function derivative it was minus of 1 by formula root over 1 minus x square x is here e power minus x this total term square this is the derivative of cos inverse function then go to the derivative of e to the power function this time you do not see this it is a one again to me just main function to keep e to the power exponential function and derivative of exponential function the function itself can is a high money e to the power minus x then into derivative of this minus x by chain rule what you get our result to say minus one hmm? so that is equal to this minus and this minus make it positive and so numerator is e to the power minus x and divided by denominator is root over one minus this is e to the power minus twice x so you may leave the answer here could you get to get a solve kuriba number three it is y is equal to e to the power cos x simply okay but easy to go over the number four y is equal to e to the power x divided by sin x so quotient rule apply the quotient rule we need to solve correct issue therefore dy dx is equal to dy dx is equal to the quotient rule ten elementary is square so we have to write sine square x then denominator into derivative of sine e to the power x and that is e to the power x itself then compulsory minus e to the power x into derivative of sine x is cos x so you may write in this format e to the power x is common so you will have it is sine x minus cos x terms divided by sin square x you may leave the answer here simplify need not to go okay so this is the solution of the answer now come to the next question 
so this is your next question y is equal to e to the power sin inverse x and you can solve this so this is homework first e to the power function derivative then sin inverse derivative come to this question y is equal to sin of tan inverse of e to the power minus x so it is also very simple therefore dy dx is equal to what is this so first primary function is our sine so derivative will be cos the inside term remains same sine inverse e to the power minus x so this is the derivative of sine only then come to the derivative of tan inverse and what was the formula it was 1 by 1 plus x square x is e to the power minus x here so you are to write e to the power minus x square so 1 plus x square into then derivative of this function and it is e to the power minus x derivative is e to the power minus x itself and derivative of minus 1 and that is derivative of minus x that is simply minus 1 simply minus 1 so simplify it is equal to this minus will come in front of all functions so minus you can write e to the power minus x into this is cos of tan inverse of e power minus x whole terms divided by 1 plus e to the power minus twice x so this is your answer uh, now come to another question you see this is homework for you hmm? this is homework for you first differentiate log it will be 1 by cos then differentiation of cos it will be minus sign of this and then differentiation of e to the power x and that is itself and now come to this question and therefore dy dx is equal to very simple question dy dx is equal to first derivative of e to the power x it is a primary function so the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x itself then plus derivative of e to the power x square it will be derivative of e to the power x square is e to the power x square itself and this time it is not x this time it is x square so differentiation is twice x by chain rule then plus again e to the power x cube is e to the power x cube itself into x cube derivative is 3 x square by chain rule then plus e to the power x to the power 4 it will be e to the power x to the power 4 itself into this is 4 x cube is the derivative of x to the power 4 and finally plus e to the power x to the power 5 derivative is e to the power x, x, uh, e to, the power x to the power 5 into 5 x to the power 4 so need not to calculate here this is the answer for the question okay then come to another question so this is the question therefore dy dx is equal to dy dx equal to what is this first derivative of root over function and that is 1 by 2 root over the function itself mean e to the power root x into derivative of e to the power function and that is e to the power root x itself then derivative of root x function it is 1 by 2 root over x so it can be written in this format e to the power root x divided by 2 to 4 into root x into root over of e to the power root x so you may leave the answer here and you may write this x inside this root over sign so okay that is the answer uh, another question you take so question number 10 it is uh, y is equal to log of log x since the base is not written here so you have to consider the base as e exponential function so therefore derivative of y is dy dx is equal to first derivative of this logarithm and so this logarithm is 1 by inner function was log x so 1 by log x into then derivative of this log it is 1 by x alone no more terms so it is simply 1 by x log x 1 by x log x so you may leave the answer here okay come to the another uh, come to another question you take this question as homework you can solve this problem cos x by log x use just simple cosine formula okay come to next question take this question and this is also homework cos function derivative is minus sign of this one remaining same and derivative of log into derivative of log is 1 by and derivative of uh, e to the power x is e to the power x itself so it is 1 by x plus e to the power x so you can solve these two problems now come to another question so question number 13 and question number 14 these two questions you can solve yourself so these are the two homeworks for you 
and I will solve the question number 15. You can also solve this question though I will solve this for you. So dy dx is equal to logarithm function will be derivative 1 by sec x plus 10x into then derivative of sec x it was sec x into 10x plus derivative of 10x is sec square x so that is equal to you see sec x is common in the numerator so sec x whole into it is then 10x plus sec x whole terms divided by sec x plus 10x so these two terms numerator denominator will cancel each other so you have the answer only sec x so you may leave the answer here okay come to a new question you see the question y is equal to log of this total term so dy dx is equal to 1 by this term 1 by this into derivative of this it is a quotient function so denominator is square then denominator into derivative of the numerator x is 1 minus root over function is 1 by 2 root over this function and this inner function is minus twice x then compulsory minus into the numerator into this time numerator into derivative of the denominator so it is 1 plus derivative of root over is 1 by 2 root over this one and 1 minus x square derivative is minus twice x so this is the differentiation line and come to the next line so you see this this denominator will go to the numerator we have written like this this product is remaining same whole square is remaining same this term is remaining same here 2 and 2 is cancel minus minus will be plus and taking lcm so it is 1 minus x square plus x divided by this minus is remaining here this term is same this is 2 to cancel you see here 2 and 2 is cancel and uh, this minus will come here and lcm is root over 1 minus x square so it is 1 minus x square root over then minus x minus x okay the next line will be you see you see one of the term this and this is cancel so you have is equal to 1 by 1 by x minus root over 1 minus x square into what about this 1 minus x square root over it is taken lcm and come to the denominator so numerator is you see x plus root over this x plus root over this so it is simply x plus root over 1 minus x square whole square if you write minus as plus here to reverse this time line a to reverse color karane minus common log a to plus is over go to the a to a to me like like here he got it all x minus root over 1 minus x square whole square whole terms divided by whole terms divided by this term denominator is about the case x plus root over 1 minus x square into root over 1 minus x square so okay finally we will get this term and so that is equal to it is a plus b whole square a minus b whole square so simply it is a square twice two times of two times of a square plus b square mean 1 minus x square divided by combining these two terms a plus b into a minus b it is simply x square minus 1 minus x square and whole terms into this root over 1 minus x square and that is equal to this positive and negative x square is cancelled so it is 2 divided by uh, actually this is twice x square minus 1 into root over of 1 minus root over of 1 minus x square you see hmm? and uh, that is the answer hmm? so you may leave the answer here okay then we go to the new question so this is our question before differentiating this uh, first you simplify it so log of this is a into b so we can write it is log of e to the power minus thrice x and it will be plus log of sine 4x sine 4x then the calculated term is y is equal to this minus thrice x will come in front minus thrice x into actually log of e and log of e is equal to 1 need not to write here then plus 
the function is log of sin 4x. Now we can differentiate. So therefore, dy dx is equal to it is simply minus 3 plus logarithmic function derivative is 1 by the function. It is sin 4x into sin function derivative is cos 4x and 4x function derivative is 4 only. So you will get minus 3 this plus 4 into cos by sin is cot 4x. So you may leave the answer here. So actually this function can be differentiated by directly treating this term as x. A term took pura x is a way of how you do it. You have to all of one calculation to all of one critical visible. But the first simplification then differentiation differentiation. It will look easy. Hai. He can I mean it is use also in the two minutes each other. They I mean it took x will consider x will consider to play differentiation Korean. Then it is possible. I'm going to calculation to all of one heavy visible. But the problem. Nahi. Okay. Come to another question. So the question number 18 is y is equal to log of 10 to the power 5 2 minus twice x and here also before differentiating you take simplification it is 10 to the power 5 mean it is whole to the power 5 and log of something whole to the power 5 that 5 will come in front so you can write it is as 5 into log of 10 2 minus twice x simple form now differentiate therefore dy dx will be equal to 5 remaining same then derivative of log function base is not written here that means the base is e so differentiation is 1 by 10 2 minus twice x into so what is the derivative of 10 this time 10 is you know that it is sec square 2 minus twice x and then into derivative of 2 minus twice x and that is simply minus 3 so i write here minus 3 and so that is equal to 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 minus in front it is 15 into sec square 2 minus twice x divided by 10 of 2 minus twice x so uh, you can simplify it as this is equal to minus 15 is there sec square is actually what 1 by cos square and 10 is sine by cos that cos will go to the numerator so finally you will get cos of 2 minus thrice x sincerely sava divided by yate already row equal more sine of 2 minus thrice x into our numerator prize above cos square 2 minus thrice x and a power of so that is equal to one of the cos is cancel ultimately moeta kam kurim yate minus 30 lekhim mane multiplied by 2 divided by it is twice of sin 2 minus thrice x into cos 2 minus thrice x to 30 lekhi pelai moe to 2 eta product kori disu to get the formula actually so that is equal to minus 30 is there divided by it is twice sin a cos a so that is sin twice a so you can write sin twice a mean 4 minus 6x and that is that is equal to to cos so that is equal to you can directly write it is equal to minus 30 cos 4 minus 6x so actually tumar differentiation procedure to yatai finished hoye geche yatai finished hoye geche kintu simplification to lage mane books bila ko ekdom final answer ok loke nilib better e karone ami ya loke nisu so that is the answer okay come to another question you take this question as homework y is equal to log of 10 cube 4x minus 1 now come to the next question eight question so asun tumi y is equal to e to the power 10 inverse x by root over 1 minus x square so no doubt it direct differentiation kore leo hoi jabo mane prathame hai bho e to the power function derivative then 10 inverse derivative then this function derivative calculation to allopman tough hoi jai to aami ghi kori e to allop simplify kore bhele try kori ekhini simplify kore bhele try kori so yata jumi jidhi mon kora you have a uh, substitution here at a comfortable substitution bhabasun 
जीतुक ए स्कोर माइनास एक्स स्कोर फर्मेट टर्म्स आर देर तेने टर्म्स जीतुक आए देर फोर एक्स शुड भी टेकन एज सैन थी टर्म गति के सैड लिखी से मैं इफ यू टेक एक्स इज इकुअल टू सैन थी टर्म देन थी टा इज इकुअल टू सैन इन भार्स एक्स नाउ यूज दिस सबस्टिट्यूशन हेयर इतने यूज कर सो देट इज इम्प्लस वाई इज इकुअल टू इ टू दि पावर टेन इन भार्स अफ व्हाट इज दिस इट इज सिम्पलि सैन थी टा डिडेड बै रुट ओभार वन माइनास सैन स्कोर थी टा इज नट इट सैन स्कोर थी टा सो देट इज इम्प्लस वाई इज इकुअल टू इ टू दि पावर सिम्पलि टेन इन भार्स अफ इट इज sin theta divided by what is this is it not equal to cos theta it is cos theta so finally what is the conclusion it is tan inverse of tan theta and any condition is not given here therefore we should consider it is as principal branch and so y is equal to e to the power theta only and theta is the value sin theta has the value sin inverse x so that is implies y is equal to e to the power sin inverse x now the differentiation is easy so therefore dy dx is equal to first e to the power function derivative it is itself e to the power sin inverse x then sin inverse x derivative it is 1 by root over 1 minus x square so you may leave the answer here okay we come to another question now see the question number 20 log of xy is equal to x square plus y square here also you can differentiate directly mane log xy so log differentiation then xy differentiation then go to the right side that is one of the procedure it is implicit function actually ami agote discuss kori aisilo kintu jodi tumi logarithm to expand korlo alop easy hobo that mean it is log of x plus it is log of y and that is equal to x square plus y square since it is implicit function therefore you are to write here differentiating differentiating with respect to x ever explicit no kintu he can line to likh bolo ibo so what is differentiation of log x it is 1 by x differentiation of log y it is 1 by y and for y you are to write dy dx is equal to x square differentiation is twice x and y square differentiation is twice y and for y you are to write dy dx now the method is to take common dy dx from all the terms uh, keeping in the left hand side so you are to take common dy dx so lo lo me from here the term remaining is 1 by y and from there this one term remaining is minus twice y and on the right hand side it will be twice x and minus shifting this one by x to the right side वन बक्स इतने काम कर एल सी एम टू इतना लब इट इज वन माइनास टाइस वाई स्कोर डिडेड बै इज इक्ल टू टाइस एक्स स्कोर माइनास वन डिडेड बक्स सो फाइनल की पा यू उल गेट डि वाई डि एक्स इज इक्ल टू वाई निमर टो जब सो वाई इन टू टू एक्स स्कोर माइनास वन divided by this x is already here this will come to the denominator 1 minus twice y square so you may leave the answer here okay so come to another question this is our question now number 21 question 2 tan inverse y by x is equal to this one so differentiating it is also implicit function because y is inside of another function so therefore if Have to write differentiating with respect to x. So what is two is remaining same two. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? Tan inverse x is one by one plus x square. So it is x is y by x here. So it is one by one plus it is y by x square. This is the differentiation for tan inverse x. Tan inverse. And then the derivative of y by x. This is quotient function. So denominator is square. We write x square. Then x into derivative of numerator it will be dy dx. Compulsory minus y into derivative of denominator is one. X is one. This is the differentiation of the left hand side. Go to the right side is equal to logarithm. The derivative is one by. The term is 
x square plus y square. Then derivative of the inner part. It is simply twice x plus twice y. And for y, you are to write dy dx. dy dx. Okay. So now simplify it only. It is implies 2 is remaining here. LCM is x square. We'll go to the numerator. So x square divided by it is x square plus y square only into what is this it is x into dy dx minus y divided by x square is equal to on the right hand side 2 is common so 2 into x plus y into dy dx whole terms divided by x square plus y square this is our expression now now you see cancel the common terms from both sides as well x square x square is cancelled then this 2 and that 2 will cancel x square plus y square from left hand side and the right hand side is cancelled so the term remaining only is implies x into dy dx minus y all the terms are cancelled this term is cancelled this term is cancelled and 2 is cancelled so it is remaining term is only x dy dx minus y is equal to on the right hand side the term remaining is only x plus y into dy dx now the method is same shift to the left hand side and take common dy dx so dy dx is common x remaining here minus y is from here and on the right hand side x is already here y will go to the right side so plus y negative y to the right side plus y so from here it is simply dy dx is equal to what we will get? We will get x plus y divided by x minus y. So you may leave the answer here. And important questions. This is question number 21. It is important question. And the previous question also. That was also an important question. Now come to another question of the chapter. You see the question here. The question is number 22. It is uh, y is equal to log of root of r 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x and this is homework for you you can solve the question yourself just use the formula 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2 and 1 plus cos x is equal to 2 cos square x by 2 so 2 will cancel sin square by cos square is 10 square root of r will cancel so log of 10 x by 2 will be the ultimate expression and then differentiate so this is homework for you you can solve the question yourself now come to the next question number 23 uh, it is y is equal to log of uh, root of r 1 plus cos square x divided by 1 minus e to the power twice x this question was also try yourself. Jodi ki bar dikdari thake mukko ba, mui solve koi dim. Okay, then you next uh, take the next question number twenty four. Okay, see this question. Y is equal to e to the power sine x into sine of e to the power x. So I'll differentiate directly. Dy dx is equal to. It is a product function. One of the function is e to the power sine x, and the second function is sine e to the power x. So first differentiate e to the power sin x. It is e to the power sin x itself. By chain rule, the derivative of sin x, you are to write cos x into the second function remains same. That means e to the sin of e to the power x. Then come to the next part plus. This time the first function remains same. That is e power sin x remains same into derivative of the second function. So sin function derivative is, you know that it is cos of e to the power x is remaining same into derivative of e to the power x and that is e to the power x itself last simplified line to tumi likhibo pora bekhe eku dorkar nai hoyse yate tomar kiba common jabo neki sailo no term is common e to the power sin x is common e to the power sin x is common gotike tumi e to the power sin x to common lo e to the power sin x is there any term is common no more term is common so e to the power sin x whole into you have cos x into sin e to the power x then plus e to the power x into 
cos e to the power x so you may leave the answer here okay now take a new question so this is your new question y is equal to e to the power ax divided by sine of bx plus c and this question is also homework for you and you can solve the question by using the quotient formula so here is the uh, end of the sector differentiation of uh, logarithmic and exponential function ekhane ami hikilo etia amar yar je to pisor sector ase yar pisor je to part ahibo het hoyse logarithmic differentiation logarithmic differentiation mean differentiation with the help of logarithm that is a very important chapter thank you very much